I'm Adam Gilmore from Truck Stop TV. Here we are at the Museum of Fire in Western Sydney for the Sydney Antique and Classic Truck Show. The fourth annual Sydney Antique and Classic Truck Show provided a great family atmosphere, including free carnival rides and fairy floss for the kids. Plus, with 200 trucks on display, vintage bus rides, live music, historic firefighting demonstrations, and many other attractions, this equaled a great family fun day out for all. Well, Indian Pacific was built in Alexandria in Sydney, 1970. Uh, it was never put on the road till 1972. It went to a, the first Sydney truck show in late 71, early 72. Then it was uh, acquired by a chap down Port Kembloway, I think it was, and he put a tipper behind it. Got a million dollar job in the city underground the buildings first job he went down in with the big semi on couldn't turn it round it was too long so they had to crane it out get it out so he went up to war hope after it was about two months old and bought a road commander off thompson's machinery at war hope i went all over australia looking for a big truck to make a tow truck i got home and my wife said there's a funny thing in war hope called an oshkosh <laughs> i said wow just what I want. So I went and took it from Ross on a Saturday morning, it was shut, the truck wasn't locked, the key was in it, it had air up, I started it, we took it up to Long Flat and back and took it home to Q. Monday morning I rings him, I said, hey Ross, the Oshkosh you got out the front, how much you got on it? Oh, he said 27,000 bucks, I think, I'll go and have a look. He walked outside to his amazement, no truck. I said, don't worry about it, I've got it at home. Oh, how did you get it? I said, just opened the door and drove it away. And it all went from there, it was set up for logging. And had done two years of logging in Taree, and two different owners, they had a year contract for forestry, and they bought a um, brand new road boss, and I bought this, see? So I put a, um, I had an old 1942 AEC tow truck, ex-government, from Wollongong and I put the back off it onto this. It was a valuable bit of gear at the time, I didn't know now, till now. Anyhow, I worked it for about oh, five years, I suppose, and then I decided to make it a bit fancy update with all the modern bits of gear, and um, I put the 400 cat motor in it, took the little one out, which I rebuilt five times, uh, gearbox twice, the diff three times, but then I decided to put a new gearbox, new diff, so I got everything nearly brand new. That was about 23, 24 years ago. Uh, it's a 400 cat. It's got a 15 direct, a modern gearbox, still today box, and a modern rear end. And I've never had to touch it on a few oil seals. Anyhow, after 22 years of towing on the New South Wales border to border, I thought I'll give it a bit of a spell and I got a job with Optus from Brisbane to Melbourne. Four years that lasted with this. Anyhow, on the, the third year, I wanted to update, so I bought a great big whopping Western Star. And I was short of a bit of money, so I sold it in 1997. Anyhow, uh, about 210. We went to Alice Springs for the Hall of Fame. Three of the people that wanted to buy it originally off me were there. Where's your truck? I said, I don't know, I wish I did, I'd buy it back. 
we got home three weeks, found it in a machinery magazine in Adelaide. Got a blank bang check and I bolted to Adelaide, bought it back. And it was a heap of garbage. And I spent heaps and heaps and heaps of dollars. To what we got now? Well, the Indian is, these were Oshkosh Indians in Oshkosh in America, North America. And they, they build trucks, they build style machines, they have clothing factories, you name it, they make it. And uh, this particular truck is an Australian model. It's not in America. The ones that come out from America are skinny bonnets, smaller motors, and this one was made for Australian conditions, that's why it's got the bigger radiator and bonnet. Same cab, same pretty cab. And only thing I done was put the sleeper on it because in the towing jobs, some days we were two or three days on the one job. So you had to have somewhere to camp. And here last year, the CEO of Oshkosh came up to JLG at Port Macquarie. They own JLG. And he, his words were, wow, an Australian Oshkosh. I'll take her home. I said, I have my dead body. <laughs> he said, I'll give you a brand new one. I said, no, no deal. Then later on, a little story short, he said, um, we have a truck show next year, 215. Would you like to bring it over? Uh -huh. I said, no, get down and stay there. Hi, my name's Adrian Andrews, and we, I'm the president or the, the starter of uh, Tamiya RC Semi Trucks New South Wales. Uh, we're a social group. We have one 14th scale uh, radio control trucks and machinery. Uh, they're based around one type of kit by a manufacturer in Japan called Tamiya. And what we do is we buy a standard kit and we modify it. We make it more Australian or more European, depending on which way the person wants to go. A standard kit will cost you on the Australian market upwards of $1,500 uh, with very minimal sort of stuff in it. We have contacts through the manufacturer. We can get them a lot cheaper than that. Um, what we do is we buy a standard kit, you build it, you start with that, you get used to the kit, and then you start modifying it yourself. You use what they call plastic card, which is like a, a flexible type of plastic sheeting. Uh, we build such as some of the trucks here. You've got the road trains, you've got the B-doubles. We design and make our own chassis rails for them and then we turn them into the more Australian configurations. And yeah, we're just, we're varying. Our youngest member is my son who's two, right up to one of our oldest members is 67, I think. So yeah, we just, we get together once a month and we, we do shows like this and it's a social group, so it's a social gathering. Uh, I used to own a real truck. I had a Kenworth up until about a year ago. And these things, uh, these trucks replace something that that I miss, which is my real one, and uh, yeah, they're the next best thing, you know. Uh, this is a LW 924, uh, which was a log truck spec. Um, this truck and I believe 15 others were originally destined for the Middle East. Um, war in the uh, Suez Canal stopped them from going where they were supposed to go so uh, I think the next port of call for the ship was Perth they were unloaded on the docks there um, assembled uh, they were partially knocked down for uh, transport originally and they were assembled there and Bell Brothers from Western Australia bought them um, worked uh, I believe they had the truck for about 20 years this and at least two others that I know of went to a, to a guy up at Moree that worked them for the next 20 and uh, brother, brother and I stumbled across it and um, got it back home and stripped it down to every last nut and bolt and bought another truck and pulled it down the same way and a bit later model one. Uh, we uh, end up using all the running gear out of the later model one and 18 months later uh, this is what we, we had. It's running a 8V92 GM engine at uh, 445 horsepower, 
through a 13 speed road ranger overdrive it's running um, 3.69 ratio diff so she's uh, pretty quick and uh, riding on uh, eight bag Kenworth airbag setup um, we've uh, ended up with a truck that drives really nice and rides good and uh, still turns a few heads I think thank you for watching truck stop TV please remember to subscribe and see you at the next truck stop